Alright, welcome guys. In this video, we're going to be in Hialeah recreating old photographs. This is part three of my series where I've done this in Miami and Miami Beach. Those videos will be linked in the description if you guys are interested in checking them out. There's a lot of history in this area, so I'm looking forward to covering that for you guys, giving you guys a little history brief. Hialeah's history begins with a cattleman from Missouri named James H. Bright and aviation pioneer Glenn Curtis. In 1921, they started to really get things going in Hialeah with the development of land. The city was incorporated in 1925 with a population of about 1,500 people. Today, it's more like 223,000, making it the sixth largest city in Florida. So who was Hialeah's first resident, you might ask? His name is G.R. Millard. He built his home on Okeechobee Road in Hialeah Drive, right across from the Miami Canal. This first place at 799 Palm Avenue used to be a movie studio in 1925. The Great Miami Hurricane of 1926 destroyed it, and it was later turned into a movie theater, which, fun fact, was the first movie theater ever here in Hialeah. I don't know about you guys, but I can kind of see the movie studio look to it. However, right now, it is just a church. We're looking at the back side of the building here and the parking lot. This next location used to be a movie studio as well, if not the biggest one in Hialeah. It was called Miami Studios Incorporated and was started by Everest Sewell, which was the president of the Miami Chamber of Commerce. He brought along Glenn Curtis to help out with this endeavor and I'm going to show you guys what it currently is. It's no longer a movie studio, obviously, uh, but it might surprise you what it turned into. Did you guys guess a water treatment facility? Yes, my friends, this is where the Miami Studios Incorporated was at, the Hialeah Water Treatment Facility. This is a very big plot of land that even extends further down that way. You guys may not know this person, but at the time he was a very, very big director. His name was D.W. Griffith. He made a movie on the life of Thomas Edison, and at the time Thomas Edison was still alive, so he sent out a train load of his lab equipment and stuff as props for the movie. Really cool of him to do that. So yeah, it's not like I can just snap a photo and be like, hey, this is exactly where the building was, because it is a big piece of land, but this is more or less the address, the location where the movie studio was. This video is a lot more difficult to make than Miami Beach. Can you tell? <laughs> so we're now heading to the very first street ever in Hialeah. Can you guys guess what it is? Could it be Okeechobee Road? Could it be 49th Street, 103rd? Palm Avenue. Let's see how much you know Hialeah. Leave a comment below before we get there and see if you're correct. If you guys guessed Hialeah Drive, you're correct. This was Hialeah's first street. So I'm looking at the photograph, the same one that's on the screen right now, and it's looking east from East First Ave. So I don't know how they got it kind of high up. Oh, and by the way, where the CVS is currently at, just across the street is where the Curtis Bright Ranch used to be. So it's pretty cool. It's now a CVS. All right guys, I'm currently at Two Circle Drive here in Hialeah because this house belonged to H.R. Howell, the developer of Miami Springs, just right behind me. And right across from this house is Ken Mattingly Park, a park named after an Apollo 16 astronaut, which I did not know even existed here in Hialeah. We are now at 1301 Palm Avenue, which if you're old enough, you probably remember or have been to this place called May and Dave's. It was a popular pizza bar and grill from as early as the 1940s. This picture overlaid was taken in 1955. So somewhere along this building over here, people were sitting on bar stools, enjoying a nice pizza, possibly a beer as well. Uh, I don't know, it just takes me back. <laughs> Even though I didn't live through that time, it's just pretty cool to come back and just think of what used to exist here. We are currently at Hialeah Park, which is where the dynamic duo that started Hialeah started this park. They had horse racing, dog racing, and a lot of famous people actually came by here. I'll list their names here. But this isn't the only reason why we're here. We actually have the drone, which we're gonna fly right now, because there's a photo that we have to match, and I, I could have sworn it's the same building in this photo. But according to records, it says the building was constructed in 1947, so that's about a decade after this photograph was taken. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I'm currently standing across from Palm Avenue and Okeechobee Road, which, fun fact, and I don't think this is really a fun fact, back in June of 1938, there was actually a crash right behind me at that intersection between a Florida Power and Light, or FPL truck, and a Ford truck. It resulted in someone dying, so there was a lawsuit. The man's widow filed the lawsuit against FPL, and the settlement came out to $15. It seems like it was still a little bit at the time, because in today's dollars, that's about $225. So, yeah, not so fun fact, but fun fact. 
it happened right here. Another thing, if you're a local, then you're probably familiar with the big water fountain that welcomes you to Hialeah, right on Okeechobee Road. What was the equivalent of that at the time back in the 20s, the 1920s that is? The old sign was a 40 foot cutout of Seminole Indian Jack Tiger Tail reading, Welcome to Hialeah. It was right at the edge of the canal and Okeechobee Road. And that is what greeted people at the time to beautiful Hialeah. All right, guys, it's going to do it for this video. I had a lot of fun doing this one, but it was kind of difficult because unlike Miami Beach in downtown Miami, it's not easy to get around here on foot. So I had to bounce around via car. Sometimes I walked, you know, I probably walked like two miles today. But yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about Hialeah and enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button because I'm thinking of making a part four and I need you guys to help me out in the comments below. Where should it be? Anywhere in South Florida. Take a pick at it because I'm thinking Coral Gables is a great place to do it. There's a lot of history there, and I think they do preserve some of their buildings. But I don't know. It's going to be up to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.